Hello, everybody. Welcome to our brand new YouTube channel. In this series, we're going to be working on my 1974 Trans Am. We're going to be converting the factory front discs and the rears to uh, Corvette Z51 brakes from the sixth generation, including the brand new CPP C5 spindles. We're gonna swap the factory spindles for the C5 spindles um, and run the C7 Corvette hubs on them and mount the 13.4 inch front and 13 inch rear Z51 disc brakes. Uh, right now, we're gonna swap the base C6 Corvette abutment brackets for the Z51 brackets because when you're doing the C5 spindle, you can't mix and match brake parts between base Z51 and Z06. I got a full set of front and rear uh, calipers from eBay from a 2010 Corvette. And since I'm gonna be running the Z51 rotors, I have to get Z51 abutment brackets. And I've already changed one abutment bracket right here. And we're gonna be changing that one. And here's for comparison. To the left is the base Corvette abutment bracket. And to the right is the Z51. And you can see there's about quarter of an inch or so difference between the base and the Z51 abutment brackets. It's basically fairly straightforward. There's not much involved in it. There on the caliper, there are these two bolts that you have to loosen up. Those are like the slide pins. They hold the slide pins in place. And they also hold the uh, abutment bracket to the caliper itself. We're just gonna change those out and install the new Z51 uh, abutment bracket. These brackets were from core3.com. So uh, for the rear on the core3 setup, we have some same thing as if Z51 abutment brackets that we have to swap from the standard Corvette rear calipers to these abutment brackets. It also, core tree also had these plates that will go at the end of the 10 bolt ax axles. So the calipers will mount to these plates. Uh, so those would be in a different video. I'm gonna swap the abutment brackets and then um, slide those plates on. For previously, I had swapped the generic 11 inch rotors with the Cadillac calipers on them, but those were just not doing a good job for me and they were uh, hitting the factory honeycomb wheels. I'd ground some off the calipers, uh, but they were still, whatever I did, they were hitting the uh, wheels. So I just decided to go all in and just do the whole thing, do it right once. So uh, we're just gonna go through and we'll show you um, how I swap the abutment brackets. They're fairly straightforward. Like I said, just a couple of bolts here, that uh, 15 millimeter heads, and it holds the slide pins in place and, and the abutment bracket. So we're just gonna undo those, put the new one in, and then we'll be done. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to mark the new uh, mounts to the C5 spindle and put the rotor on and see how everything works together before I start tearing the car apart and putting the C5 spindle on the car. So here we're just gonna swap the um, Z51 abutment brackets. I had already loosened the bolts up. Um, so we're just gonna just quickly show you my son and I are going to show you quickly how to just swap the abutment brackets. So here we go. Basically, 
basically. I had to loosen them up, so. Um, one. Slides right off. This pin one. These are two pins. I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease. I had already swapped out the rubber bushings for a new one. What we did was we were recording and the video stopped while we were doing it originally. So I had to redo everything again. That's why. Everything was loose, but basically the old with the uh, new brake pads come all new hardware and you just take the new hardware and put them in place of the old one. These rubber bushings basically just, you just take the old one out and then put the new one in and just, you just press them here. Sometimes they go easy, sometimes, but that's how it goes. And we just grease them a little bit. And slide them in on the new caliper, on the abutment bracket. And just push them in and go right back. And do the other one. Yep. Also put the new, with the uh, brake pads came new hardware. Even though the old ones were good, we just put decided to put the new ones in and they basically just slide in here. Just goes in like this. And that's basically both sides. And then we're ready to bolt them on to the new one. Back to the, uh, calipers. They already have anti-seize on them. Loctite. So. so now we we'll just tighten them up. the other one and then we'll come back and tighten both of them.
basically the new Z51 abutment brackets on the base Corvette caliper. So right now we're going to take a break and then we're going to take out the C5 spindle and C7 hub and mount these on, the, on them to see for mock-up purposes and see how everything fits.